Now, when we design our applications with BuddyBase, there are many ways for us to be able to display and interact with our data. We're going to look at a few now. I'm going to add a blank screen and I'll just call it data. I'll set the access level to basic and click done. I'd like to add a link to this new screen, to this navigation. So I'll click over to the links tab, click on configure links, and then add a link for data, forward slash data. And I can change the um, access rule here if I want to, who can see this. So I'll save. If I preview my application, you can click on the data tab and it's empty like we expect. So each screen is made up of components. So I'm going to add a component and I want to start with a table block. Now this table block has pulled in the data from my appointments. I can change that to be the data from my users, the data from my owners, and the data from my pets. Let's have it as pets. I've got the ability to be able to set the size to medium or large. I can set the scroll limit for each page. And I can decide whether or not I would like to paginate. Without pagination, I lose the links to be able to go from between pages. Other things, quiet makes it sort of slightly knocks back the contrast a bit. Compact squeezes everything together a little bit more and row selection allows me to select each row and by, by a checkbox. I can also configure the columns to have only one particular column maybe. So I only wanted to show the name of the pet and change the label. It changes the display label and not the label on our database. Just show me buddy. Or I could add all the columns and remove any I didn't want. So I don't really like IDs on here. I maybe would like other things to appear with um, better labels. Um, let's save that. Slightly better looking table now. I can make my table searchable by adding a search field. So say I wanted to be able to search by name. I can then search by name. And I can add a button on the top. I can decide what it wants to do. By default, it's trying to create a row. But I can allow that button to do anything I want it. Allow it to run any actions I would like. So that's a table block. A way to be able to show tabulated data, be able to paginate, search, and view that data with one component. But there are other ways to display our data. Let's add another component, and this time we'll add a cards block. So the cards block is linking to a particular data source and looping over the data that's available there. So let's create a card for each of the pets. So I'll change, I'll add a title to say pets. I'll send the data to be our pets and I'll scroll down and I'll see that the cards are here for title. I want that to be the pet name, new cards block dot name. And save that. We're going to have a pet's name. It'd be good to have the pet's owner. So hit this little lightning bolt, delete what's there. So I'll do new cards block and owners and see what we get. So we get something that's not particularly useful. We're getting an array which has the primary display and the ID of that um, of that user. I really just want the display name, the primary display column. And one way I can do that is I could do dot zero because it's an array dot, if I scroll down, primary display. So primary display. I can add in other things owned by then we'll have that owned by whoever they are. And then maybe the description would say um, a species. Now the card block by default is showing eight and by default is not paginated. So I'll click on the paginate and I'll preview my app now. Click into the data tab and we've got our table with its search field and the ability to be able to paginate through that. And we have our cards. We have eight per block, page through, and we can see the different ways that we can see that data. Maybe we want a multiple of three and have a look what it looks like on smaller devices. It'll go one. I think a multiple of three probably makes sense here. So I'll set this to nine. Have another look. And yeah, I think that looks better. So I have a table and I have got a card. Two really useful blocks that allow us to show our data in different ways. You can see there are others. There's a row explorer block has been configured with the appointments. Let's change it to pets. We can have our card be pretty much the same setup as before. So we have our um, our name, our owned by. 
So we had owned by owners, which is an array. So you want the zeroth and we want the primary display, primary display. And then we want the description to be a, a species. So if we preview that now, I click on one of these rows, I get the full data. I can update these now, so buddy. So buddies of bulldog are the customers I said, could this be a French bulldog instead, be more specific and we will save. That row has been saved and our database has been updated. So another really useful way to be able to interact and display our data. One last way to access data is worth calling out. I'm gonna finish off by adding a headline right to the top of my page and it's going to greet the current logged in user. So say hello. And then how do we greet the current logged in user? So I can type in this text, click away, and it's updated in, over here, hello. But actually I want this to be dynamic. I want it to update based on the current user. So I'm gonna click this little lightning bolt, hello, comma, and then I can use handlebars or use something from the left hand side. And that's what I want, I want current user and first name. I'll save that. Now at the moment, my current user doesn't have a first name. That's a bit frustrating. Where's that being defined? So if I go back to my portal and go to my users table, click on the current user, who's me, and set the first name to be my name. And then I'll go back to my application, to my data tab, and it's going to say hello by my name. So there are lots of ways for us to be able to access our data and display it to our users in interesting and different ways. We have this table, which allows us to search, display and paginate our data in a table way. We have the card block, which allows us to be able to get our data source and be able to display the data in this slightly more card based way. And we have this row explorer, which allows us to display the data and update it as we see fit. The last thing we looked at then was the bindings, the ability to be able to access the current logged in user. With just those blocks, we can create a really compelling and really useful applications for our users. So our data doesn't just languish in our databases, but allows our colleagues to be able to drive their actions and understand what needs to be done and what the data is suggesting has already happened.